Hey guys, Lou here from LT's Custom Woodworks. Welcome to the shop to another episode. On the last episode, we did the island build here on the carcass, the face frame, and the two sides uh, for the design and everything. The This episode, we're gonna start doing the shelves first, which is are the uh, adjustable shelves uh, on each side, one in the middle, and then we're gonna get started on doing the doors the doors and the drawer build, and then the rest of the finishing and everything else that goes with that. So I'm gonna start by cutting the um, birch plywood, the three quarters inch birch plywood for the shelving. And these are being cut at 20 and a quarter long by 15 and a quarter wide. So I'm gonna edge band the, um, the top of the shelf that's facing, when you open the door, you're gonna be able to see it. So I'm just gonna edge band this one side. And it's the same process as I always heat it on, take a file, file it down, then I sand it at a five degree angle to get a nice clean finish edge. And bingo bango, Bob's your uncle, Christine's your aunt, Bill, I'm pretty sure you know who he is now. Your sister. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this in place. It's got this this guide here on the side, and this I can reverse it to either side. I'm gonna hold it into place there like that. I'll drill my first hole, which I'll start here. I'll use my pin. And that's gonna be held in place. And then I can just I cut uh, all my pieces, my styles and my rails for my doors. Now there's a face frame on here. So when there's a face frame, the measuring is a little bit different. If there wasn't, you just measure from end to end. But because there is a face frame, what I do is I take my masking tape and I'll run it across the bottom and the side. Basically all the way around. And I also, and this is just for the door measurements, including the drawer face measurements as well. Once you get that first measurement, everything else follows. And I'll do the same thing to this side. And the same thing to the top and the middle. Now what I did was, and the reason why I put this tape is because you start marking the uh, the wood, basically you gotta sand it all out and this is a lot easier. So what I did was I cut a test piece, I drilled my hole up from my hinge, I'm gonna slide my hinge in, I'm gonna put it up against the door, and I'm gonna mark the side of this, this rail. I'll take my square and I'll mark where that line is. And that is a half inch. I will measure a half inch this way, a half inch this way, and I will do that all the way around. Then I'm going to measure from corner to corner on these lines and I have 16 and a quarter. So 16 and a quarter. These uh, rails that I have are two and a quarter wide so we have to cut four and a half inches off the 16 and a quarter. I need to cut a dado 
basically for my, my plywood in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise, I'm going to lower this blade. I usually keep it at about, uh, quarter inch, three eighths, give or take. I am going to cut the depth at three eighths on this one. So I'm going to set the height of this blade. I'm going to lock that into place. And I want to center or come close to it. On this board. I'm going to lock that in place. my scrap piece I tapped the fence over I'm gonna double check to make sure and it can be tapped over a little bit more and I'm gonna keep doing it until I get that set to the right tight not too loose perfect now what I'm going to do is start cutting my center plywood piece and then I can start marking for my dominoes and start doing my glue up now that I got my pieces cut and everything fits nicely what I'm going to do is I'm going to start marking out for my dominoes so I'm just going to draw a line here across and I will start drilling those out. Okay, so I had to make my own dominoes because I ran out. So I'll do my glue up. Throw it in the clamp. Now I will 
I will uh, give this a sand after dry up. So the doors uh, dried and glue up. I sanded everything down. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna drill for my hinges. So I'm using the Craig jig. I'm gonna line it up even here. Clamp it down. And drill my hole. And I'll take my bit and I'll drill for the screws. Slide it over, do the same to the other, and it is ready to be installed. And then I'll do my adjustments with the door in a jiffy. I'll do it after both doors are done. Now I'm going to start on the drawer fronts and I'm going to start, uh, I got the pieces cut to two and a quarter. I'm going to cut my length and my sides and start doing my glue up. So I got my drawer fronts all glued up and all sanded down and these are going here and today my drawer slides came in these are the 18 inch full extension drawer slides so I'm going to get started on making the the uh, the drawers I'm going to get uh, my table saw set up and we're going to start cutting some material So what I've done here is I got my, I nailed my strips on just to bring it out a bit so it's even with the, the face frame. I made a riser block, which I'm just going to, I do have a Craig jig that does the drawer slides, but I don't know, I tend to use that all the time. I like it better. And I'm going to pull, as you can see here, I'm going to pull this piece out. I measured an inch from the face frame back with my square. I did it to both sides. I'm gonna set this up. I don't know if you can see it with my head in the way there, but I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna make, I'll bring this even to the inch. I'll pull this back. I'll find where the screw hole is. I'll keep it tight to the block. So I set my blade to 3 8 high and I moved, I'm going to cut a dado for my bottom uh, panel to fit in and I went from this corner up a half inch and I'll run all my pieces and I got a test piece here that I'll cut a dado in just to test fit it before and I'll just sneak my fence over slowly to get that exact fit. So what I'm going to do on the bottom of, of each drawer, only on one side, that's the front, or you can do it onto the back. I'm gonna cut this right out. That way, when I slide my panel in, what happens is basically, if I ever have to change that panel, I can just do the two screws 
slide the panel out and put a whole new panel in. <coughs> couple of screws on each end. Okay, so I slid my drawer in place. What I did was I cut out uh, another block. I just use it on this. I bring this even, I bring it up, I make sure it's, I push the drawer up, make sure it is even underneath. I'll dri drive this screw in. Same to the other side, and we should be good as golden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this uh, quarter or three sixteenths plywood as a spacer. I'm going to put it on top of the door. I'm going to take the door drawer front. Now where the two holes are for the the handles, I'm just going to drill those right through into the drawer, and that's how I line up my drawer fronts. So this is a dark walnut stain that I'm applying on here. It's the same process as I always do. I'm going to brush it on and I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm not going to let it sit too long. I'll let this uh, dry for about four hours and then I will apply a sand and sealer and get it ready for clear. The longer you let the stain sit, the darker it gets. So that's something you got to keep in mind on how dark you want it to be. 